Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the Windows 10 booting issue. It will be stuck on the repair option and going to keep looping up uh, the Windows 10. It's not going to allow to boot in a normal Windows 10 environment. Here is the easy step how to fix it. First thing you need to download the Windows 10 ISO file. In order to do that, you're going to use another good working computer. Then go to Google and type in Windows 10 ISO download. You will direct it to this page. There's a two options. One is upgrade. The other one is a download now, download tool now. And make sure the Microsoft need 8 GB and up, your flash drive or USB drive. So click download tool now. It's going to ask you where you want to download. You can download your download folder or your desktop. It's up to you. And I'm going to select download folder, then save it. Once it's completed, you're going to double click or right click and open the uh, Windows download creation tool. You will direct it to this screen and uh, getting a few things ready. Just be patient. Uh, give some time to get the next screen. So all these steps we are doing, simply we are creating Windows 10 bootable media because this happened because of the EFA file or partition is corrupted or some by mistakenly you formatted. This is the, the reason Windows is not starting properly. It's spinning on startup recovery tool mod and it cannot load the Windows, regular Windows environment. Next is a Microsoft license agreement and terms. You can click accept there. It will take you to the next screen where you're going to see what you want to do. Upgrade this PC now or create installation media, USB flash drive or DVD or ISO file. We are going to select that option, create installation media. At this point, it's going to ask you what you want to do. Upgrade this PC or create installation media. So we want to create installation media. Then here, the option 64-bit architecture or 32-bit. I'm going to leave as a 64-bit and Windows 10, the United States English. Then you're going to click Next. So it's going to ask me ISO file or USB flash drive. I'm selecting the first option, USB flash drive. Click Next. It's going to ask where is the USB flash drive. I'm going to, I know by heart it's a key, the new drive for me. I'm not going to select my external passport drive. So you also make sure which is your USB drive. Then let the downloading process start it now. It's processing three percentage. I'm going to fast forward in order to make this video short. Almost 99 percentage. All right. Here's the USB flash drive is ready to use. We are going to remove this USB drive safely in order to boot the faulty Windows 10 computer. I'm booting the computer using the Windows 10 bootable media. In Lenovo machine, I'm keep pressing the F12 in order to get the boot option. At this window, you're going to select the USB key as a boot option. The multiple quad reader. It will take you to the next screen where you're going to see the option for you to upgrade now or continue with the installation. You're going to see the Windows logo. You will get the warning like, like it looks like you want to start an upgrade or bootable from the installation media. So we don't want to upgrade, say so click no. That's the main Windows installation. The next screen, you're not going to select the install now. Instead of install now, we are selecting repair your computer. You will see the next screen with the advanced option. You're going to select troubleshoot. Then you're going to select the command prompt. All we need to do, we need to fix the EFI file system. I'm going to type the command prompt disk part. Then you're going to type it list disk. It's going to give the how many disks available in this computer. You can see this 0 and this 1. Next command, I'm going to type it select disk 0. Then 
now you can see that this zero is selected. I'm going to type list partition. Here we can see there's a four partition, but my main EFA file system is under the system partition, which is a partition number two. That's a EFA file. We are trying to fix it now. So next command, I'm going to type select partition number two. Don't worry about it. I'm going to put all the description about this command below. It's easy for you guys to execute this command. Now partition 2 is selected. Now when I assign the letter, assign letter equal sign. You can use S. I'm sure S drive letter is available. Hit enter. You can read here this part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point exit out of it now you are in a back to the main source window and you're going to type s colon just we want to double check it what are the directories available right now so i'm going to type dir you can see the efi file system to just make sure so this efi file system is corrupted or maybe formatted so what I want to do, make sure in, before I copy the proper EFI file, I need to format this drive. So I'm going to select the command prompt, format, space, s, colon, space, forward slash, fs, colon, fat32, which is a file system. And hit enter, you're going to ask to proceed with the format. You're going to click yes, why? Then again, the volume dismounted, yes. And uh, the, that's the time, it's going to ask you the volume label. You can put as a system. You can type SYSDEM and back to the S drive. Before I copy, I want to make sure where is my Windows directory. For me, this computer is a C drive. So I type C colon and then I put DIR. You can see all the Windows files and directories. But make sure maybe in your computer, it will be a D drive. So double check it before you execute this command. Now we go back to S colon, hit enter. Now B C D boot space C colon backslash Windows space forward slash S space S colon space forward slash f space uefi hit enter now you will get the message boot file successfully created we are back to s drive now you can execute the command dir now here you are seeing all the files are copied efi file we make sure all the directories are under the EFI folder. Now we can type the command exit. Now we back to the main window. Now there's a first option continue exit and continue with Windows 10. If all the EFI files are copied properly, once you click continue, you should see your Windows 10 boot properly at this point. All your the looping problem is solved you are back to the normal windows this way you don't need to re-image or you don't need to fresh install the Windows 10 in order to fix the EFI file corruption or any by mistakenly you format the EFI partition all we are seeing Windows is booting in the normal mode and our computer back to the normal stage now Thank you for watching. If you like it, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Take care.